What's in these boxes? Garden flower tea, white rose tea, echo tea, dog root powder. What is that? From dog treats. Why are all these vegetables shaped like giant cubes? Why wouldn't they be? Hmm. Where does all of this food come from? Where indeed? It's a mystery. Toriel, I still feel awful about yesterday when I stole. You did not steal, Frizz. That was an accident. No one will give you any trouble over that. What is the matter? It's not that cold in here, is it? It's no, no problem. No problem at all, Miss Toriel. Your total is 12.5 T. Why don't you introduce yourself to my child? Of course. <clears throat> Greetings, child. I am Coco, the owner of this store. Hi, I'm Frisk. <laughs> shall we do today? I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Let's host a picnic! What? Let's invite everyone over to our house one week from now, and we'll cook a bunch of free food for them! It's like a party! I don't like parties that much, but... Well, alright then. I will support you. Great! So, first we'll need to make a bunch of posters, and then I'll need to learn more about cooking for monsters. Oh! What? Actually, um, I don't have enough money to buy a bunch of food to experiment with. And cook for that many people. Never mind, let's go bug hunting instead. But I said I will support you, my child. I meant financially. Oh, really? Yes. Now let's go buy some paper for those posters. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally bought two times the poster size. I'm going to tell everyone about the picnic. Be careful, Frisk. I should put them further away. Hi, Mr. Coco. We're having a picnic next Saturday in the yard in front of Toriel's house. Sorry, I already have plans. Oh, maybe you could help spread the word. Sure, I can. Hi, would you like to come to our picnic next? Uh, do you mind? I'm trying to run a business here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Wait, isn't this where I fell in? Hello, Frisk. I managed to save a bit of the salt you dropped yesterday. Salt is expensive. I try to tell people about the picnic, but no one will talk to me. I'm so sorry to hear that. It is difficult to be in a new place. You must feel terribly lonely. Maybe I should meet your friends instead. Oh, yes, my friends. You don't have any friends? But there are so many monsters here. Hey, I have a friend. He... He? Mm. 
My, my, it's getting late. Let's go home and have dinner. You know, I was supposed to start school tomorrow. Do not fret, diligent one. I've prepared a curriculum for your education. Huh? I added in a culinary course. This may come to a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. That's not very surprising. No, I suppose not. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Spiders, your spider donuts are so good. I'm very curious about your products. Do you really use real spiders? I would like to try making spider donuts too. Sincerely, Frisk. Catalog. May you find the selection to your liking. Elegant. Recommend. Spider meal. Finest pastry flour blend. Whole desiccated spiders. Live spiders. Spider extract. Spider essential oil. Spider cider. Spider milk. Spider juice. Spider pink frosting. Educational. Old fashioned spider baking with muffet. Spider husbandry manual. Warning. Unauthorized use of spider products may lead to a risk of sudden dismemberment. Oh! Isn't that heavy for you? Where did you get those things? From the spider bake sale. I wrote a letter to the owners and they sold me the stuff. Oh, I see. So that is where you went. Be careful of strangers, Frisk. Okay, I will. Do you want to try a recipe? Yes, this one. Dissolve yeast in water. Spider meal, flour, milk, melted butter, sugar, cinnamon, and salt. Hmm. Form bright white dough into balls. It rises slowly. Don't use your bare hands this time. Yes, I know. Mmm, delicious! Hot! Toriel is a nice lady. She lets me live in her house and sleep in her bed and eat pie for dinner. You really should try it. I'm very grateful. But there's just one problem. You can't leave me alone in the bathroom! Don't spend too long down there, Frick. Okay! Are you almost done? I'm almost done! Please don't take too long. It is drafty down there. Uh-huh. Where are you going, Frisk? Bathroom? I'll leave some clean clothes for you outside the door. <laughs> there is nothing interesting down there, my child. Why not go for a walk in the yard? <sighs> okay. What the hiding down there? Would you like to come to the store with me? No thanks, I'm busy reading. Well then. I'll be right back. Call if you have a need for anything. And be good, all right? Okay, I will. Not.
Well, this isn't the wine cellar I was expecting. That's not the voice I was expecting either. Huh? Where'd that voice come from? By the door. What door? Oh, I see it now. Ah, it's so cold. Careful. This door goes one way only. So long as you like being over there, I'd recommend uh, not opening it. Oh, okay. What's on the other side? Well, I'm standing in snow up to my knee set. Whoa, that's like really deep. Yeah, it's so cold I can't feel my skin. Oh. What else is over there? Um, a whole lot of trees. What? How can there be trees and snow underground? I could tell you, but I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. So you don't actually know? Hello? No, oh, I just shrug. Okay. It was a very hilarious shrug. Ha 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 Oh no! What is it? Listen, uh, Mr. Voice Guy, I know we just met, but could you please keep this meeting a secret? My, uh, caretaker will get really mad if she finds me down here. Well, damn. He said please, so what choice do I have? Hide! Can I? But where? The corners? No toil can see in the dark! I wink, by the way. I'm gonna get caught! Forgot me already? Oh, of course I have not forgotten you. <laughs> I bet a name would stick better. That was about we introduced ourselves. Ah, please do not. This door must never open. As such, any connections with the outside would... Never mind then. I get it. Thank you for understanding. No problem. Take it at your own pace. Maybe one day, when you're ready, I'll come over there. And meet the person behind you. Huh? Yes, Caden. <laughs> well, I must return now. Me too. See you later. Patience, my dear. Sweet to meet you, human. Ah, thank you. Who? Who? Buffett. Buffett the Cupcake Baker. At your service. You'd best to go home now. Pretend to use the bathroom and then ascend the stairs. Oh, okay. Thank you. Chris, there you are. What's that? The throes of a dying beast! Follow it! I'm on the trail! Huh? It ends! Knack. Hey, it's me. You were supposed to say who's there. Oh, sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. What's up, kid? You are a kid, right? I'm supposed to move it. 
Yeah, you are a kiddo. Hmm. Can I ask you about something then, Adolfo? Sure. I want to talk about this book I'm reading. It's called History of the Underground. I don't know if you've heard of it. Of course I've read it. You studied that book in school. They don't on your side. I'm not sure. I'm kind of new around here. So, what part are you looking at? Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attack the barrier, it would be destroyed. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. So, um, it says that a being with a powerful soul can leave. And it says that humans have powerful souls. Mm -hmm. So, um, hypothetically, if a human fell into the underground, could they just leave? Uh, no. That's not true. You must have an older edition of that book. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier on its own. The only way I can think of that could possibly work is if the human absorbed the soul of a boss-type monster. Like the king. What do you mean absorb? Well, you know, most monster souls go poof seconds after death. But a boss monster's soul would remain intact long enough for the human to absorb it after they, uh, killed him. But that would never happen anyways. You don't need to worry about any humans leaving. Why don't I need to worry about any humans leaving? Because there's like a million guards out here ready to catch any human on sight. Yep, of course they'll never even get to the guard so long as I'm here. You? Are you a guard? Well, sentry, technically. But don't worry, just send them through here and I'll take care of them. You mean you'll kill them? I'll do what I have to. How can this be? Guards? Killing? Want to fight anyone? Still there, kid. Y yeah, I'm still here. I hope you like waiting a long time, cause this door opens one way, and I'm never going through it after what you said. What I said about humans. I am a human. <laughs> <sighs> feel strange. What's going on? I can't get in here, right? So why do I feel like I should be terrified? <sighs> that weird feeling went away. Uh, so, like I said, if you send the human on through, I'll take care of them. With a big hug. Did you just change your mind? About what? You just said I'll do what I have to. Oh yeah, I have to take you to Grillby's for the best birds in town. It's not optional. You said you would kill them! I'll take you to the hotel club on comedy night. Where I will be killing it. Stop lying! You were gonna attack me, jerk! Nah, I was joking. Hello? <sighs> Uh, 
breakfast? Hmm. No! Uh, little one, what is the matter? Go away! Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Please don't go away. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Tell me what's wrong. I can't go home! I know. I'm so sorry. But please don't leave me. Of course I'm not going to leave you. You silly child. I promise you will have a home here for as long as you wish to. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? It doesn't actually say that. Snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a uh, radula. You don't have to spoil it. Wait your turn to read, my child. Here's another exciting snail fact. Did you know that on a snail farm, one is likely to find a snable? What the heck is that? A stable for snails. Huh. Snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Ugh. <laughs> Dorial, that's not fair. Stop. <laughs> um, Toriel? I like to sleep in my own room tonight. Of course, my child. It's already Thursday! I need to decide on a main dish for the picnic. Let's see what they have in the meat section. Chicken! They don't have cows down here? Hmm. I guess I can work something out with this stuff. Hello, Frisk. Do you need help with something? Ugh. Trying to decide what to cook for your picnic? I've got just the thing for you. Spider hot dogs. It's an ancient family recipe. So it's made from a mixture of chicken and live spiders. Five days to cure? You will work fine. But the grocery store doesn't have all of these ingredients. Never fear, my dear. Mr. Coco, an order to wholesale for sausage skins. On the double. Pick up the delivery at eight tomorrow. Um, delivery from where? From the, from the capital. Huh? Here is a small garden boutique that also sells exotic spices. Check out the junk shop as well. Mortar and pestle. But I still don't have a meat grinder. You sure are helpful. Step one, grind the chicken into a fine paste. Use the skin too. Step two. Dump the spiders into a bowl and smash them. <gasps> Step three, add in the special spices. Step four, fill up the sausage skins. Step five, hang the sausages in a cool place for up to five days before cooking. Now we need some side dishes. I'm making a sauce. Little one, are you planning on turning my house into a restaurant? <laughs> what? A restaurant? Well, I was planning on waiting until I'm a bit older. Ah, but middle school is canceled now, so I do have the free time. I was only joking. Toriel, I want to start my own restaurant. I, well, uh... Very well, my child. 
If that is what you wish to do, then yes, I will support you. Let me tell you a tale on this bright Saturday. Children are laughing and shouting, hooray! Gather and celebrate in this party. For today, the new girl is living with Toriel. She makes people grin because she cooks so well. Always a powerful monster beside her. Even friends with that mysterious spider. From now on, these great halls of purple stone will be the corridors she calls home. Hot dogs she'll sell at a reasonable cost. So please help her out in case she gets lost. I'm not going to get lost! For today, in the ruins, all we monsters insist to welcome the Human Frisk! Something amazing has happened to me this week. Do tell, ma'am. I have a new child. Wow, congratulations. The child wants to start a restaurant. They grow up so fast. Oops, my clothes faded in the wash. Yet somehow those stripes got brighter. All right then, let's get started. If we add a few more tables and chairs here, we can take their orders from the kitchen and... Wait, Toriel! You didn't mean we should literally have the restaurant inside the house. There's a lot more space out there in the hallway. You're all right, that makes more sense. Is anyone using this room here? No, I don't believe so. I've never seen anyone go in. I was thinking we could use it. Stand back, my child. <laughs> Yay! It's abandoned! We can turn it into a kitchen and storage room. Okay, I'm going to town. Off to gather ingredients. Uh, alone. I want to go alone. You do not want me to go along? Well, I want to talk to some other people about it. If you're by my side the entire time, they'll think you're in charge. I want to be the leader. Look, it's Toriel. I wonder what she's up to. I see what you mean. Well then, please call on me when you need help. Morning, Mr. Coco. What you reading? Oh, this? It's a story about, uh... This woman who buried her dead dog in her ex-boyfriend's backyard. But then it came back to life as a uh, zombie dog that eats people. So now it's wandering around killing everyone. The ex and his son already got eaten and it looks like a current boyfriend is next. Oh shoot, I just spoiled the whole thing. Sorry. That's okay, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Do people enjoy that kind of thing? You can borrow it when I'm finished. No thanks. So anyways, I was wondering if you could help me? I'm starting a restaurant and I had some questions about how to get ingredients. Of course, Frisk. I recommend you order tax-free using the wholesale catalog. I'll let you order under my name until we get you registered with the Merchants Guild, our organization for shopkeepers here in the ruins. Please have a copy of the Yellow Pages, too. If there's something that isn't sold by wholesale, you can try calling someone to set up an independent trade. No guarantees, though. Wow, it's like you already knew about my plans to start a restaurant. Miss Buffett informed me. Of course she did. I'm right here. I was just looking for you, too. Cookie, please, please, um, give me back the grill I thank you for the, the picnic. There, there, now, don't cry. Of course I'll give it back. But actually, I'm more interested in buying it. You, well, 
want to buy it? Yeah, I... 900 gold, take it or leave it. <gasps> That's completely over my budget. Even though Toriel said she would support me. The truth is we're almost broke. Would you consider credit? I'm sure I'll earn 900 soon enough. You really think a restaurant run by a human is going to be successful? I don't believe you. What's with the attitude flip? I'll buy it for you. Buff it? You're always stalking me and going out of your way to help me. What are you plotting? To turn you into a chef, of course. What is this? A contract? You want to be a business partner? Running a restaurant as a newcomer in a foreign country is sure to be a difficult task for one so young and adorable. Team up with me, and your startup costs are history. Hmm, this looks fair. I'll also serve as your mentor and lend you my hands as needed. You must sell spider pastries at your shop, but besides that, you retain complete creative freedom. The menu, the hiring, even the name! The name! I accept your terms. I look forward to working with you, Miss Buffett. <laughs> Drop the miss, my dear. We're partners now. Of you, my child. Nothing's even happened yet. Oh boy, you already open? Yeah, please buy three hot dogs. Of course. Coming right up. More monsters are coming. We're not that popular yet. But this is awesome for the first day. I recommend the spider cupcakes made with real spiders. All right, I'll buy. Uh -uh. <laughs> this is the worst food I've ever tasted in my life. Disgusting. Who puts spiders in cupcakes? You dare insult the hard work of my beautiful child? Toriel! Please don't get angry at the customers, even if they say something rude. Ah, you are right. I believe I overreacted. No one's showing up again. Except for me. I I'm your biggest fan. Golly, these hot dogs hit the spot after a long day with the mold smells. Name's Irene. Thank you so much, Irene. Feel free to pet the mold smell. Okay. Ugh. Hey, are you there? You again? I'm surprised to see you come back here. Then I scared you off for good last time. I mean, yeah, I was kind of scared, but, uh, you didn't do anything. What if I change my mind again? You won't. You're a good person. Uh, kid, you seem to have, uh, no sense of self-preservation whatsoever. Huh? How about I give you a rule? You like rules, right? Yeah. Of course you do. Rule number one, if someone threatens to kill you, do not then go meet that person alone. Okay, I guess I can do that. Good. I mean, except for me, of course. What's your name, by the way? I'm for- Don't do that. No names allowed in this room. What? Why? Other ladies rule, not mine. Other lady? You mean Tor- Kid, please. No spoilers. <sighs> Fine. So, anyways, she is trying to help me at my cafe, but she cannot stop protecting me from the customers. I think some people aren't even giving my place a chance because they're scared. I don't know how to tell her, but I think this is not working out. This is what you wanted to talk to me about? She got mad at a customer for wielding a fork too dangerously. Wow. Really? Yeah, she's really touchy about certain things. I can't get a straight answer about where to find a good chef's knife. Mm-hmm. A 
I'm also working together with a spider monster lady. She spies on everything using remote control spiders, including us. Interesting. She seems to know a lot about how this place works, so I'm learning a lot. I see. My plan was to create a fancy seafood restaurant, but it was too hard to source fresh ingredients from outside of the ruins. So we're running a hot dog stand. Sounds yum. I want to expand the menu once I get some employees. It's done! Tutorial? Oh! My instincts got the better of me. I do apologize. I think Little Fist needs a waitress, not a bodyguard. And have you considered that Fist needs a mentor, not a spy? Do not think I haven't noticed your little lookouts everywhere I go. I trust you have only the best of intentions. <gasps> Wait, Buffett! I had an idea. Can you give me the recipe for hot dog bread? <laughs> of course! Oh no! We're almost out of hot dog bread! Can you go bake some more? Of course I can! Working. Riz, the buns are done. Good timing, seeing how many monsters show up. Guess what? I think we should serve, um, butterscotch pie! Really? You think it'll be popular? Yeah! Alright, I'll go bake some. Wow, this is more like it. Thanks. Please enjoy your meal! Thanks! Money. Too many all at once! I can't keep up! Almost out of cut vegetables for salads! I'll help you out. I can cook six hot dogs at once, like this! Is that my oven timer? 